Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's August the 5th of 2018. I've got a story here pulled up. This story is out of New Mexico. It's a very interesting story. When I first read this story, it kind of brought to mind the camps that Lewis Arthur discovered in the Arizona desert that they alleged to be child sex trafficking camps. This story right here, folks, is from a little small place called Amelia, New Mexico. I'll go through the story and we'll look at some of these pictures right here. This is an aerial photograph of what the sheriff is describing as a compound it's way out in the desert and it's got like these walls built up with tires and pallets and tarps covered all over this stuff we'll go through the story 11 kids found in filthy conditions after new mexico compound searched this story broke this morning around 10 a.m. according to the Associated Press, Taos, New Mexico. Law enforcement officers searching a rural northern New Mexico compound for a missing three-year-old boy. They didn't locate him, but they did find 11 other children in filthy conditions with hardly any food According to the sheriff, the children range in age from 1 to 15 were removed from the compound in Amelia, New Mexico. They were turned over to state child welfare workers. Two men were arrested during the search while two women at the compound were initially detained before being released pending further investigation one of the men 39 year old uh, Siraj Wahaj was jailed on a Georgia warrant alleging child abduction while the other man uh, only identified as Lucas Morton was arrested on suspicion of harboring a fugitive uh, the search stemmed from an investigation involving the Taos County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, and the Clayton County, Georgia authorities said. Uh, authorities had conducted surveillance of the compound while looking for the missing boy. So authorities out of Georgia were looking for an abducted child, a missing boy. They had gotten information that he was in this compound in New Mexico. So they stake out the compound, raid it. They don't discover the missing boy, but they do discover 11 other children in this compound out in the middle of the desert, folks. So, what happened to the original missing boy? They never found it. Okay, so they were looking for the missing boy, but decided Thursday to get a search warrant immediately after a Georgia investigator forwarded a message in which someone at the compound reportedly told another person that people at the compound were starving and needed water. Um... Investigators had reason to believe that the boy had been at the compound recently. It's not clear if the boy and Siraj Wahaj are related. There was no injuries during the search. Um, the man was armed with a rifle and four handguns. There was little food at the compound. Here we go, folks which consisted of a small travel trailer buried in the ground and covered by plastic with no water, plumbing, or electricity. 
The only food we saw were a few potatoes and a box of rice in the filthy trailer. The adults and the children appeared like refugees, not only with no food or fresh water, but with no shoes, personal hygiene, and basically dirty rags for clothing. We gave all the kids our water and the snacks we had. It was the saddest living conditions and poverty I've ever seen. Let's take a look at, there's only five photographs with this story right here. This photograph apparently is Lucas Morton, the man that was charged with harboring a fugitive. This right here is the Siraj Wahaj. He was the main man that they were looking for initially in the original child abduction case. Look at this, folks. Here is one picture of the travel trailer, what appears to be where they was living at. Completely ransacked, filthy conditions. Looks like some uh, fuel cans, gas cans. Maybe they was uh, using that to store water. But look at this right here, folks. Walls built out of tires, pallets, uh, lots of junk just everywhere built these walls all up around this place like this. Who were they? What were they doing there, folks? And so much poverty. Was any of these kids going to school? Was any of these people? Uh, didn't, apparently no one knew they were there for a long time. This aerial photograph right here really shows the extent of these walls out of tires and pallets. And, and this whole thing here covered in this tarp way out in the middle of the desert, folks. Very, very interesting story here indeed. Once again, uh, police were looking for an abducted child out of Georgia during that search, discovered a compound with 11 children, severely malnourished, starving, dehydrated, in this very bizarre looking compound in the desert, in New Mexico, did not find the missing boy that they were looking for, but they did discover all this other weird stuff here. I'll leave a link to this article if anybody wants to read it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.